Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com and we are here today with lesson number 10 in our incredible new tutorial series where you are going to learn artificial intelligence on the Jetson Nano. I will need you to pour yourself a mo most excellent mug of iced coffee and I will need you to get out your Jetson Nano gear. What? You don't have your gear yet? Look down in the description. I've got links to the identical hardware that I am running in this tutorial series. And if you want to play along at home, it does help if we are on identical hardware. Also, want to take a second and thank you guys and give a shout out to you guys that are helping me out over at Patreon. Your support is a huge encouragement to me. And those of you who might be interested in that, if you will look down in the description, I have a link to my Patreon account. Think about going over there and hooking a brother up. Okay, enough of this nonsense advertising my Patreon. What we are going to do is we are going to jump in and learn something cool today. So I will need to get out of your way and tell you a little bit about what we are going to do today. What we are going to do is to install the Python package called OpenCV. OpenCV is the library that we will be using to actually begin the work of doing artificial intelligence on the Jetson Nano. And I got to kind of give you a little bit of background. Like the first things that we did were just getting the Jetson Nano hooked up and booted and ready to go. Then last week we installed some really important packages. We installed matplotlib, which is a library that allows us to visualize and graph large data sets. And then we installed NumPy and we learned learned a little bit how to use those two programs, sort of at an introductory level. So when we get into the artificial intelligence, you will be familiar with NumPy and you will be familiar with Matplotlib. If you haven't done those yet, go back and make sure that you watch that last video. Okay, then the third package, the one that we're going to install today is really important and it's called OpenCV. OpenCV is a library that will allow you to go out and grab a frame from the camera and then take that frame and display it as an image. Now what's the cool thing about that? That's two lines of code like grab the image, show the image. But between those two lines of code, you are in a Python program and you are sitting between the camera and the display and that is where the magic happens. And that's where the artificial intelligence happens. That's where you can recognize things, you can track things, you can move things, you can do all of this magic between those two steps. But to do that, we've got to get the libraries installed and we've got to get them installed correctly. One of the things that I've tried to warn you from the very first of this series is, is that NVIDIA has provided us a very well thought out disk image and operating system which we installed in lesson one. And that image has the versions of the software and the versions of the libraries that will allow us to utilize or take advantage of those 128 parallel processors, those 128 cores on the Jetson Nano. If you go out willy-nilly upgrading from this package to that package and this library to that library, very quickly you're going to get your Jetson Nano configured in a way that does not take advantage of the parallel processor. So I've tried to I've tried to encourage you in this tutorial series that if you're going to go out and play around and do demo programs and stuff have a separate SD card. In this series have one SD card that you don't mess with that you just kind of go through and do the things that we are doing here. So what I need you to do is open up a terminal window, okay? And what I want to kind of show you is is that the uh, NVIDIA image uh, operating system image comes with two versions of Python. If you just type in Python, what you can see is it pops open the default of Python 2.7. Now I love Python 2.7 more than anyone did, but in a lot of the things that I was doing, Python 2.7 became so old that things were breaking, they were not supported, and there were just things that I could no longer do. So I kind of felt forced to upgrade from Python 2.7 to Python 3.6. Now the good news is, is that on the Jetson Nano, NVIDIA has included an installation for Python 2.7, which you get by just typing Python, or Python 3.6, which you get, let me control D out of here, control D out of here, you get to Python 3.6 by typing Python, Python 3. 
okay and you see it pops up we are now in the uh, <clears throat> Python 3 uh, point six point eight uh, command line all right so that's good the Python 3.6 is there also remember we when we installed a couple of weeks ago uh, studio visual the code the uh, code OSS uh, integrated development environment for Python we set that up to by default use this Python 3.6.8 so that is all good so what is the problem the problem is that in the default installation of the NVIDIA operating system image, at least at the time of me making this video, that default installation for Python 3 did not have, it did not have OpenCV as part of Python 3.6. So we need to go in there and install that. And the way that we install it is it's a little bit goofy, but if you do what I do exactly here, it's going to work for you. What you have to do is you have to say sudo apt get install and then python3 apt get install python3 dash open cv. <clears throat> now this is can take like 15 or 20 minutes it might go faster for you so I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna come back okay cuz I won't don't want to just sit and talk to you for 15 or 20 minutes so I'm gonna pause and then you let it go all the way down until you get the command prompt and then start again okay I am back mine successfully installed so let's go to Python Three. Now don't do this until yours is all finished installing, okay? Okay, so I'm going to type Python 3. And look at that. I am in Python 3.6.8. Now I want to import OpenCV. So I can say <coughs> import CV2, which is the kind of keyword for OpenCV. So import CV2. Okay, boom, look at that. Now let's look at this CV2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. <coughs> okay, 3.2. Now this is the goofy thing. When we did that installation, it downgraded it and it's not the version that we wanted. So remember when we were over on Python 2.7, let's look at that again. Okay, so I control D, let's just go to Python and then let me say import uh, CV2. Okay, and then let me go CV2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. You see Python 2.7 has version 3.3.1, which is the version that we want. Okay, so we'll go back to Python 3 and we will again import CV2 and then we will say CV2 dot uh, underscore underscore version underscore underscore and you can see it downgraded us to 3.2. So we want to be on Python 3.6 but we want OpenCV version 3.3.1 and when we did the sudo app get install it gave us a downgraded version how do we fix this this is crazy but this is what we're gonna do control D to get out of the Python interpreter we are going to say sudo apt get install uh, I'm sorry, app get remove Python 3 dash open CV. I know you're saying, didn't you just install it and now you're uninstalling it? It's not for me to ask why, it's just for me to show you how to get the version you want on here. So now hit enter and you can see it's going in and it says, do you really want to remove this? Yes, I really want to remove it and it will take a little while to remove it and so this is the crazy thing okay this is the crazy thing the way to get the right version on Python 3.6 is to do that sudo apt get install python3-opencv and then do sudo 
apt get remove Python 3 OpenCV and somehow that kind of like wakes it up to where then Python 3 has the right version. So let's watch Python 3. Okay. And now let's do import CV2. Will we get an error? No, we won't. So even though we just uninstalled it, we don't get an error. Now let's look CV2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore boom 3.3.1 now is that the most ridiculous thing that you've ever seen now if somebody really knew what they were doing they could go in and completely build versions and do all this and go through all these scripts and spend a day and you could get the right version that you wanted but this is a way that I found on the NVIDIA forums that they were suggesting to do it and it sounds crazy but it works you go to Python 3 you install OpenCV using app get installed then you remove it and then you end up with the version that you want okay let's control D out of that let's also just kind of do a quick thing over here let's go back to our uh, code OSS our uh, integrated development environment I'm going to come up to my uh, File Explorer and you can see that we've got kind of two folders we've got this main Pi Pro folder that we set up then we have this folder that is called basic we have a folder called matplotlib for our uh, uh, graphing uh, programs and then I'm going to come up here I'm going to select Pi Pro I'm going to select that or I'm going to at least get it like that and then yeah you just don't want to have one of these other ones, uh, other folders selected. And then I'm going to click on the plus for a new folder. And it looks like it is putting that inside of matplotlib, which I don't want. This is a little bit goofy. I think now nothing is highlighted, so this should make a new folder in Pi Pro, which it did. And then I'm going to call this OpenCV, the folder. Yeah, that was no good. Okay, I will call this open CV. All right, and it's a folder, so I'm not going to put an extension on it. And now I have an open CV folder. And now with open CV, uh, with open CV folder selected, I'm going to come up and I'm going to click on new file. And it puts a new file in there. And I'll just say open CV uh, intro or I'll just say OpenCV1.py alright enter and now I have a new program so what I want to do here is I want to just say import and what do I want to import I want to import CV2 and then I want to enter and then I want to print and I want to print CV2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore okay and now to run that I am going to come over here and right mouse click and I'm going to say run Python file in terminal and look at that version 3.3.1 on Python 3 and working inside of Visual Code Studio. Okay, so we've kind of got the whole enchilada here where we are now ready to go out and start doing artificial intelligence. Now, I'm going to end this lesson here. I will very quickly release the next lesson where we will actually go in and in the next lesson we're going to fire up a camera and we're going to start grabbing frames from the camera and we're going to start putting them on the, uh, on the screen. And so really in the next lesson, which will be lesson number 11, 11, 11 that's where the artificial intelligence really begins in earnest okay you guys if you like this think about giving me a thumbs up again remind you really appreciate your help over on patreon motivates me to continue to produce quality content think about subscribing to the channel think about sharing this with other people again this is paul mccorder from toptechboy.com i will talk to you guys later